This is King Noble Black Supremacy. And with this particular video, I want to talk about how the presence of higher dimensional beings are here. I'm a higher dimensional being. We talk about aliens and extraterrestrial beings and they got us looking to the stars and looking in space, talking about UFOs and UFOs coming out of the sky. But there are higher dimensional beings that are right here in front of us. And they are coming from another dimension of reality. Now, that sounds spooky to a lot of people. But let's talk about what a dimension is. You are living in a particular dimension that was artificially created. That's what we call the matrix. It's a particular dimension that you cannot see beyond, that to you is real. And it's really just a dimension. You're only looking at it from one dimension. That's the dimension of white supremacy. That's the dimension of their control, of their power, of their organization, of their institutionalization, of their stronghold and lockdown on your mind, your brain, and consciousness. That's only one dimension. But then you have other beings who are conscious, who are coming with other information, or as the master teachers have taught us, alphamation. And they're showing you another dimension of reality that exists simultaneously. It's not an opposition to white supremacy. It's not an opposition to their reality, it's another dimension that exists, but it's a bigger dimension. Their dimension, the dimension of white supremacy, is a dimension within the bigger dimension of black supremacy. And you have to have, be closed-minded or have a limited view to see their dimension of reality. Once your consciousness expands, you see the greater dimension, which is black supremacy. So you're only seeing a dimension within the dimension that they have you locked into. Now, where there are these extraterrestrial beings, these other entities, these higher life forms, they are right here and right among you. It's just you're locked in to only seeing a certain dimension of what is going on. And that is by design. They don't want you to go beyond the dimension that you're seeing. And they reinforce that through news, programming, education, religion, customs, socialization, domestication, they reinforce a particular dimension that keeps these particular beings in power that we call the elite. They know of the other dimensions. And they know that reality is omnidimensional. They know this, but they capitalize off beings that are stuck in one particular dimension. And what has them stuck in that dimension is fear. They use fear to set the parameters and the boundaries of the dimension that they exist in. So by not going beyond their fear, they don't go into the next dimensions or see into the other dimensions that exist simultaneously. So now you need higher dimensional beings to be able to incarnate into the dimension of which you see things. So that means these extraterrestrial from another terrain, an extra terrain, astral, astral plane, these other beings now have to come to you in your plane, in your dimension, which we're calling a matrix. And they have to show up for you there. So they are extraterrestrials. They're not from here. They're higher dimensional beings. They're not from the matrix. They're not an artificial prototype or entity that was created in the matrix. They come from somewhere else. Who you think you are and most people you know and you feel comfortable with, they are 
created in the matrix. They are manufactured. They are byproducts of artificial intelligence to create an artificial world. So their personalities, their likes, their interests, everything about them is fake. They seem like robots, clones, drones, whatever you want to call it. And that's who you socialize with. That's who that's who's available. These rapper Im images and rapper personalities, these entertainers and famous people and actors, these are all artificially created personalities and identities to keep this dimension of reality going, to reinforce it. So someone has to come from out of that dimension, from another dimension, a higher dimension, but come into that dimension to reach you, to expand your consciousness beyond that dimension. That's what your avatars are. That's what your gurus are, your light workers, your enlightened beings, your master teachers, your living gods. That's what they do. Your messiahs. They have to come into that artificial dimension to get you out. But they have to come into that dimension and expand your consciousness from in it to the greater dimension and bring you into omnidimensionalism. Because that's when you become awakened to the knowledge of who you are and to your consciousness as a creator. When you realize and tap into the um, um, omnidimensional nature of existence itself. That you can tap into whatever dimension or plane you want to. You can go in and out of planes and you can, you can, you can astral travel. You can go through different dimensions. You can travel dimensionally. They have to wake you up to this. So now the dimension that you live in is telling you that these higher dimensional beings are spooky, that they're ghosts, that they're extraterrestrial beings, that they're um, goblins and, you know, that they're it, they, they, that dimension is telling you that, that they're not for some is telling you that you can't even see these beings. Um, they don't even really exist. They're not there. It's a conspiracy theory. It's a myth. That dimension is telling you that or you have to hallucinate. And be high on some type of shrooms or some type of drug in order to see these beings. And it's just a figment of that high that you can live and see these entities and see into the omnidimensional nature of reality. They have to tell you that to make that dimension that you're locked in real, because if you start seeing beyond the dimension that you're locked in, then what you consider to be reality changes. What you call reality is an artificial definition that's meant to maintain a certain construct that works for a particular type of entities who suck, who are vampiric, who are able to draw your energy as long as you locked up into that particular dimension. But when omnidimensional or higher dimensional beings incarnate to awaken you, they awaken your consciousness beyond those particular limits to free you from the mental, psychological, and spiritual dimensional slavery that those types of beings have locked you in in order for their benefit. So higher dimensional beings have come here, but you looking at them, they look like you. Oh, you're just a human just like me. You look, you look just like me. Well, no, the dimension that you live in dictates how you perceive reality so you only see a certain dimension of them. The form of them that you see is a shadow of the artificial prototype that was designed by artificial intelligence. It's reinforced perception. So how you're seeing them is even pre-constructed. So you can't even see their higher dimensional form. You can't see into their spiritual nature. How you talk about people seeing auras, you know, and seeing light bodies and spiritual selves. That's because they're omnidimensional. They're not locked into how this dimension dictates how you perceive things and what construct you can see things as far as what's real. They, are, they have transcended that. So now they can see higher entities here. They can see the spiritual forms, the infinite and eternal omnidimensional forms of beings without thinking they're crazy, without thinking they're hallucinating, without thinking that there's something wrong with them. Because the code to exist in this dimension tells you that this is how things look. This is what you're supposed to see. This is how you're supposed to perceive things. This is who and what people are. 
this is what's right. This is what's wrong. This is how it's supposed to look. This is how it don't look. And that code, that reinforcement maintains their prison. The dimension that most people live in is a artificially created prison that they could literally just step out if they open and expand their consciousness because it's not physical. It's really not even there. It's just the reinforcement of their perception keeps them locked within those particular boundaries. It's way more, so much more beyond those boundaries that they would just have to step over. But like I said, they use fear to reinforce that dimensional prison that most people are living in. So the higher dimensional beings... which they have made spooky and science fiction is science, but it's fiction, an interesting combination. They've given you that to distract you, to throw you off, and to make you not see this as real, to not be able to go beyond what they have given you in order to operate as a slave within their context of reality which is what makes money for their corporations, which makes money for their institutions and can keep certain entities in power. What they're calling, some calling them the 1%, some calling them the 10%. They have the knowledge itself, but they're using that knowledge in, all, in order to suck off the masses of people, to keep the masses people of people locked within a certain context of reality. Your higher dimensional being are here. Your extraterrestrials are here. When you start to see them, when you start to see these higher dimensional beings, that's a sign that your consciousness is expanding and you're freeing up. When you can see these beings manifested before you. When you can see more than just the man or just the image being reinforced to you. So when I come to you and say, well, I'm a God, I'm a higher dimensional being, the fact that you don't see this is because the program has dictated to you that you can only perceive according to certain laws in a certain way. You have to follow the rules and regulations of perception, particularly of a black man in the wilderness of North America. So to see something else is now you have to break the code now. You have to break through the program and say, wait a minute, Maybe there's another dimension of what is there, of something else that is there that I might be able to see if I open up my consciousness. But you would literally, it would really be a personal revolution for you. You would have to rebel against the programming to see something else other than just a nigga there in front of you. That's going to take work for the black mind to make that leap. But the dimensions are here. The unexplainable stuff on this particular light, light code lockdown dimension, the unexplainable things are in other dimensions that you must expand your mind to step into. Everything unexplainable has an explanation in omnidimensional reality. Sometimes you have to go to another dimension to get the answer. It only makes sense when you can shift your dimensional perspective. Then it begins to make sense. This is King Noble Black Supremacy. Join my website, www.kingnobleuncensored.com. Donate. Don't hate.